Hello everybody, King Clubs back once again, part of the King Book series. This is our first pay-per-view event. This is between WCW and main event. It's going to be our Super Brawl show. So without further ado, let's get into it. We've got seven championship matches to get to tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully my voice can hold out. Our Metropolitan Arena here. Thanks, courtesy of the BCW. We got Philadelphia as home to Super Brawl. <clears throat> There's our beautiful logo. Alright, starting things off, we've got a fatal four way match for the United States Championship. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig, Chris Jericho, and King Booker all facing each other to become the first United States champion under the new brand or under the new regime of me running these shows. Comes Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. I'd love to get his hands on some gold, as we stated in the past. <clears throat> in order to get this opportunity, he beat Brett the Hitman Hart in singles competition. Now the rules are: there's no disqualifications, no countouts. First one to get a pinfall or submission inside the ring will win the WCW United States Championship. <clears throat> All four men will be allowed in the ring at the same time. And that's where things are going to get kind of complicated because you'll have to make sure the other two participants are incapacitated or at least preoccupied while you make your pinfall or submission attempt against the third member of the match or third opponent in the match. See how the perfect one does. Here comes Chris Jericho. He beat Rhino in a qualifying match. He's looking to <clears throat> make quite the, the impact here in the United States Championship Division. So with this pay-per-view event, we're going to see a total of seven championship matches. Two of them are title defenses, whereas the other five are going to be determining the first ever champions. Crowning Shinu champions, I should say. Here comes Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Steamboat beat Lex Luger in singles competition in order to qualify for this matchup.
see him got see him with his torch because he blows the fire. With the dragon fly. As he did this past Saturday. Excuse me, Friday. Past Friday. Saturday was my event. And the fourth and final man is King Booker. He beat Eddie Guerrero. And then proceeded to attack Guerrero after the match. Guerrero not able to attend here tonight. So I can promise you there will come a time when King Booker will have to pay the price for his actions. In the meantime, he's going to make his way down to the ring, clutching his scepter. Feels he's already the royalty of WCW. This is the first of many pieces of gold that he wishes to add to his collection. There he is, King Booker. So he lays down his scepter and prepares for the, for the match. That's what this match is about. United States Championship. Both starts and the men pair off perfect and steamboat Jericho and King Booker and immediately steamboats thrown out of the ring meanwhile the Chris Jericho and Booker T are fighting inside the ring oof perfect and steamboat Allen outside up against the guardrail. Jericho going for a chin lock. Steamboat having to break it up as he goes for a reverse DT. Modified backbreaker there. Jericho now throwing Steamboat back out of the ring. Seems to be the strategy everybody wants to utilize so far. Keep Steamboat outside and grounded. Sound strategy considering that he can't do a crossbody very well if he's out on the floor. Now everybody's outside the ring. He counts for his qualifications, but the match can't end outside the ring, it has to end inside the ring. Oh no! Mr. Perfect taking taking Steamboat down with the clothesline and now an assisted suplex off the ropes while Jericho and Booker T fight outside the ring. The referee's attention focuses more on the outside outside the ring as opposed to the action inside the ring. Nice jawbreaker there by Steamboat. And we'll come back here. <clears throat> oh, nice DT by Mr. Perfect. So he rolls out of the ring. 
Booker T gets cut. Uh oh, Jericho going for the Lion Tamer. And he has it. Mr. Perfect gets to the ropes. I manages to bite a lot of it. There's that front neck whip of Mr. Perfect. Oh no! Drop kick to the back of Ricky Steamboat's head as he's getting into the ring. Now elbow drops to the spine. Jericho throws Booker T out of the ring. And then looking for the perfect plex. Counter by Steamboat. I'm going to take over there by Mr. Perfect. Nice belly to... Excuse me, backdrop suplex is what I meant to say. Pinball attempt broken up by Chris Jericho. Booker T out on the floor at the moment. Standing wrist lock there. A free call for a rope break though. Nice close line there by Steamboat. Heading down. Steamboat on the top turnbuckle. Be looking to fly. Jericho interrupting. Nice instant takeover there by Jericho who rolled out onto the apron. Very smart knowing that Steamboat likes to fly. Uh oh, sunset flip into a cover. One. Oh, a kick out. All four men back in the ring now. Sleeper hole attempt. Steamboat trying to get a submission, but there's a rope break. Oh, an axe, jumping axe kick. First DT on the Booker T. Oh, and for a running cross, Bobby missed it. Jericho, the power bomb. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Going for the Lion Tamer. Walls of Jericho. <clears throat> Seems about able to get out of the, of the Lion Tamer. Uh oh. Oh, there's the scissor kick. One. Mr. Perfect breaks up the pinfall attempt. Ooh, knee drops to the chest. Oh no, basement drop kick by Jericho onto the steamboat. Steamboat rolling out of the ring. Belly to back suplex onto Jericho. Steamboat going up top. Steamboat could be looking for the flying crossbody. There it is. Ten. Perfect there to make the save. Going for the perfect flex. Roll up by Steamboat. One. Two. Oh, not even a two count. King Booker comes in. Broken up. This nice action's all over the place. Those are perfect. Oh, I need to drop to the chest. Steamboat rolls back out of the ring. Uh, roll up attempt. This is how you qualify for the match. With the roll up. Now it's down to the Booker T and Mr. Perfect. Oh! Wait a second. I think King Booker may have had something in his trunks. 
There's no qualification, so it's not gonna matter. Now he's in the corner. Kurt Hennig being dragged across the top rope there. Steamboat getting back to his feet. Team being brought back in. Ooh, nice tiger driver. A kick out by Kurt Henning. Oh, got caught. Now Steamboat looking to fly, perhaps. Booker T's down. Kurt getting to his feet. Oh, it catches him. And a scoop slam. This is just our opening contest of King Book Super Brawl. Spine Buster by Booker T. On a big right hand uppercut to the Chris Jericho. Jericho against the ropes. Ooh, using the midsection and a drop kick by Kurt Hennig. He's going up top now. Steamboat getting up to his feet. Oh, the perfect one missing an elbow drop. Oh, catching two beautiful drop kicks. One on Booker T and one on Steamboat. Booker T has Kurt Henning up. Now being thrown to the apron. Jericho bringing Booker T back into the into the match. Now being thrown onto the apron. Oh, knocked back off of it. Ooh, big whipping chop to Kurt Hennig. We're gonna see the dragon fly. Here he goes. Oh, connects at that time into the pin. One, two, three, and Steamboat's the United States Champion. And the fans here in Seattle are going crazy. I'm pretty sure we're in Seattle. If we're not, then that's just a goof on my part. <laughs> <clears throat> this is all over the place. It was the Dragon's flying cross body that got him the title. A move that has served him well many a time. And that's just our sturdy match, ladies and gentlemen. Got women's division action coming up. After the attack this past episode of WCW Nitro, we're going to have a no-holds-barred match for the women's championship here in WCW. Got Lita challenging Jacqueline for the gold. Going to find out who walks out women's champion. Now this will be an all-holds-barred match, so there will be no disqualifications or count-outs, much like our last match was. However, the match does have to end inside the ring. Whoever walks out with the title, or whoever can get the pinball submission in the ring will walk out as the champion. And here comes Lita.
she blindsided Jacqueline who was prepared to who was prepared for a one-on-one -on -one competition against Paige. That match would not happen because of the attack. Rivalry getting violence between these two ladies. And here comes Jacqueline. current WCW Women's Champion. She would use that belt to strike Lita multiple times. But in the end, Lita got the best of her with a twist of fate on the belt. Got our challenger. <clears throat> you think that No Holds Barred would be right up her alley as being someone who's familiar with going to the extreme, but Jacqueline is double tough. She's competed against men in the past, has no problem doing it either. She hands the belt over. The referee's gonna show it off to the challenger before holding up for the audience. Women's championship up for grabs. There's the bell. Jacqueline is trying to lock up immediately. That doesn't work, so she ends up going with the forearm. Oh! Into an arm breaker. Big heel kick, we saw that past Friday on Nitro. A whip out onto the floor already. Jacqueline looking to fly, oh no! This is the elbow drop. The referee can't really do anything to stop him now that they're outside. You can just encourage him to get inside the ring to finish the match. Jacqueline throwing Lita back into the ring. Oh, now she's got a chair. The champ's got a chair. Thrown away. Counter by Lita. Back and forth. Back under. Oh, nice. Touch the world slam. Gonna need a kick out though. Champ not gonna be put away that easily. Ooh. Train strikes and a spear. Lita pops back up though. Now they get hoisted up into an electric chair drop. I'll go for the chair again. Oh, misses. Oh! Oh my goodness. That second one didn't miss. They're going to say she's going to break Lita. I don't know. Let's turn her up again. Go for another one. Oof. Hit the chair one more time. Oh! Brutality. Oh, go for the German suplex on the chair. Countered. Leah fighting her way back into this match. Your chin lock. 
I guess submission. Nice on direct take over there. Oh, and Northern Lights suplex with the bridge. Run. Kick out. Jack on. Oh! Sure shot to the midsection. Oh, another one. Oh! Oh! Just ramming it right into the ribs. Look at that. Oh! We'll work over the body of Lita making her regret attacking her. Oh! Rolls onto the spine. Or to the back of the neck, I should say. Jacqueline a little winded for the moment. Oh, and for an elbow drop, could not connect. Took too long to get up there. Oh, and a twist of fate. Goes for the pin. One. No, kick out before two. Lita in shock. One. No, another kick out before two. Lita not... Lita in disbelief. Ooh. Breaking around a takeover. Could be looking for that moonsault. Oh, there it is. One. No. Kick out before two again, and Lita... Doesn't know what to do. She looks like she's about to come apart over here. Climb up top one more time. Oh! The lead assault again. One. Two. No! Two and a half. Getting closer, but still enough to put away the champ. Uh-oh. Oh, the spear. Oh, clothesline. A pair of clotheslines. And a single leg drop kick. Going up top yet again. Oh, missed the leg drop. Oh, a spear yet again. Jacqueline going up top. Uh, now she's calling for Leo to get to her feet. Lita gets up. Ooh, it's a missile draw kick to the chin. A counter there by Lita. Oh, DDT. Another spinning heel kick. Oh, another counter throws line by Lita. Oh, there's the DT. We could have a new champion. I get a DT replay. Boom, there it is. Girls are on top of the chair. One, two, three. Lee is the new champion. Lita would not be denied, even after getting assaulted with steel chair. Yet Lita did not resort to using the chair herself. It was the lead assault. We saw that a couple times. Boom. There was the second time. Which almost had the match. That clothesline taking down Jacqueline multiple times. Lita is now the new WCW Women's Champion. But this is just the beginning for her because now 
she's got to be watching her back because she's got to know that people are going to be targeting her. Women, other women in the division are going to target her. Well, congratulations to that young lady. This is just the beginning for her. Alrighty. Two down, five to go. Let's get on to our next matchup. Got women's tag team action in their main of from our main event brand. Beth Phoenix gonna take Nikki Bell gonna take on Nikki Bella. Beth Phoenix was in a match <clears throat> against Mickey James. Able to put James away after a much more competitive battle than what some would have anticipated at first. But that wasn't without the interference of Nikki Bella. Nikki would show up, distracting Beth, and almost costing her the match. Normally with Nikki Bella, usually her sister Bree is around. One can anticipate that should be the same tonight. See how the Glamazon, Glamazon does against the Fearless One. Here come the Bella Twins. Bree will be at ringside, but will not be able to get, or shouldn't get involved in the match. Shouldn't be in the key word, though. Normally they would try to pull the twin magic, but they're very differently dressed tonight, so that shouldn't be a problem. Unless the referee really is blind. Which wouldn't surprise me. It's for the women's championship, main event style. If Amazon's ready, Nikki seemingly confident. Nikki backing the glamazon up into the corner. Referee's gonna have to back him off. We see a clean break. Oh, well, the break was clean. Aftermath, not so much. Ooh, nice takedown by Nikki Bella. Tripping up the glamazon, going to an armbar. Again, stretching on the arm of Beth Phoenix. Make you rather full of herself. Bringing Beth over the top rope onto the floor. Now this is a traditional match, pinfalls, submissions, counts, disqualifications, all that good stuff still apply. But we need to crown ourselves a champion. The three counts up to three already. The Amazon going after Nikki outside on the floor. I'm back into the ring. Count to five. Six. 
Oh, a takedown by Beth Phoenix. Amazon picking Nikki up for a power bomb. She were being power in the name. Because that's what Beth Phoenix has, has in spades. Plenty of power, plenty of strength. Nikki goes to the eyes. And gets caught for her troubles. Another takedown STO style. That mare into a dragon sleeper. You can move to wear your opponent down. Nikki able to escape. And for a running forearm, didn't get it. Oh, look at the strength. Again, the pure power of Beth Phoenix just lifting Nikki Villa up and, oh, a boot to the mush. Amazon in control now. Nikki ripped hard into the front turnbuckle. Looking her across the ring. A monkey flip by Nikki Bella. I'm starting to go to work stomping away. And her opponent. Oh! Face first off the knee. Going for a pin. An easy kick out for the Amazon. And Nikki gets knocked back into the corner. Oh no. Amazon has her up. Oh! Buckle bomb. Nikki's in trouble now. Amazon wants it. Uh oh. Counter. And a spine buster. Counter there for Beth Phoenix. Oh, backbreaker. Both of us run into the corner. Another monkey flip. <clears throat> and Nikki's actually holding her own pretty well against the Amazon. For a modified surfboard stretch. Trying to power out of it. Finally does. I'll go to the stomach. And a sidewalk slam. That would love to get the glam slam going. Has her hooked. Oh, there it is, the glam slam. Rolls into the pin. One, two, no, two and a half. Beth thought she had it there. Try to compose herself a bit. Bree looking on as her sister is being thrown out over the top rope onto the floor. Now helping her sister up. Shouldn't be getting herself involved in this match. Oh! Hard kick to the midsection. Scoop. And a backbreaker. Nikki whipped off the rope. Oh! Tilt a roll backbreaker that time. Into a cover. One, two, kick out. Now Beth Phoenix is getting angry, raining down fist onto the face of Nikki Bella. Look into the corner. Oh no! Ten times the charm. 
Uh oh. Start getting kicked away. Takedown. Oh, into an into a heel hook. Nice submission tactic there by Nikki Bella. Just the ropes. Beth using the ropes to help with the suplex. in the ropes of the glam slam. Goes for a pin. One, two. Nikki able to power out again. My goodness. Uh-oh. Nikki counters. Oh no. Another power bomb. Another... Buckle bomb. Oh. Goes for a pin. One. Two. Nikki Bella showing me something here tonight. Keep fighting back. Uh oh. It's shoved away. Oh. And a forearm strike. Goes for a pin, a kick out by the Glamazon. And Nikki now showing signs of frustration, signs of stress, signs of being shocked. Uh oh. TKO. Goes for the pin. One. No! Not even a two count as Beth powers out again. Oh, went for that monkey flip again. Didn't get it this time. Caught into that dragon sleeper. Oh, dumped over the top rope onto the floor again. Oh no, now Beth going outside. Uh oh. Look at the strength for Nikki Bella on display. Oh! Throwing Beth onto the apron. Normally it's the other way around. Ooh, takedown on the floor. And now we're running Bulldog. Referee is still counting. Beth now in the ring. Seven. Nikki Gooden in the ring. Ooh. Goes for the ankle again. Now going up top. Oh no. Counters out of it. Oh! And a massive clothesline. Three counting. Uh oh. Oh, powerbomb against the ropes. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out. Beth is forcing the kick outs here. Uh 
Oh, there's the there's TKO. One, two, three, and Nikki Bella wins the championship. Give credit to Nikki Bella. She took a beating and came back from behind to get the win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're three matches in. We've got four more to go. So we're about halfway. About 46 minutes into a stream. <laughs> So, Nikki is celebrating her championship win. Congratulations to her. But you gotta believe that Beth Phoenix, Nikki James, and even her own sister Brie are among the many looking to challenge for that title. Next we got tag team or tag team match. Tag team championships up on the line up for grabs, excuse me. Team of Bam Bam and Tatanka. Gonna try to get some redemption, some retribution for their loss. They were unsuccessful in defeating the Rock and Roll Express on our episode on the debut episode of Main Event. So hopefully to turn that that luck around. Ted DiBiase didn't seem too thrilled with them. So we'll see if things have changed, if they've got some new motivation or if they've got some new direction. Here comes the beast from the east, Bam Bam Bigelow. Some have said actually the chemistry between Bam Bam and Tadanka not being the best probably isn't helping the matters at all. All right, here comes the Rock and Roll Express. Robert Morton or Ricky Morton Robert Gibson got that mixed up there See if they can keep that momentum that they got last night rolling into today. So these are for the World Tag Team Championships. There's going to be Tatanka starting off against Ricky Morton again. Oh, nice running back elbow there from Ricky Morton to start the match off. Armies carry takeover by Tatanka. Counter by Ricky Morton. Fans weren't exactly fond of Ricky Morton's tactic. Or, not Ricky Morton, but not just Ricky Morton, but Rock and Roll Express's tactic. That's what I'm trying to say. To attack their opponents before their match yesterday. 
double team. It's Robert Morgan gets, or Robert Gibson. You get their names mixed up there. Robert Gibson gets tag, tagged in. <clears throat> Uh, nice monkey flip from the corner there. Taka in a world of trouble right now. Bam Bam not even having a chance to get into the match yet. There he goes. In comes the powerhouse of Bam Bam Bigelow. Stopped by Robert Gibson. Oh! Gets stopped with a drop kick from Bam Bam in a clothesline. He's rearing back for a headbutt. Nothing doing there. Tag, in comes Ricky Morton. Rock and Roll Express making frequent tags. Very effective tag team wrestling. Oh, clothesline there by Bam Bam. A headbutt. Big bald guy the size of Bam Bam. That's, not, that, that's something you don't want to have to deal with. Taka tag back in. Working over the arm of Ricky Morton. Stripping uppercut. Clothesline back out onto the floor. Oh, and down go Bam Bam. Rock and Roll Expressor rocking and rolling today. Oh, Ricky Morton with that drop kick. Tonka reeling. Oh, trying to lift Tonka off. Going to the turnbuckle. Tonka fighting out of it. Oh, there's the DT. Into a pin. One. Game now has to make the save. Gets thrown out of the ring by Robert Gibson, though. Oh, yeah, Ricky Morton working over the arm of Tatanka on the rope there. If you're not really admonishing them. Tatanka finally able to find his way free. And battle back into the match. Now it's time for a double team from Bam Bam and Tatanka. Ooh, double shoulder tackle. Big elbow drop from Bam Bam, who's now working over Ricky Morton. Oh, just rubbing his face into the canvas. Followed by an elbow drop to the back. Nice arm drag by Morton. Tag into Robert Gibson. Another double team by the Rock and Roll Express. Up to hold in an elbow drop. Going for a pin. One. Tonka makes the save that time around. Referee putting a count on Ricky Morton for not getting out of the ring. They're trying to crown tag team champions here. There's a punches by Robert Gibson. And a clothesline. Now Bam Bam is the one looking for his corner. Seems a bit disoriented at the moment. Sunset flip going for a pin. One. No, kick out. Bam Bam with the feel just throwing Gibson away. Oh, nice shoulder block. And I'm hurting. Tag made. Ricky Morton coming back in. Double clothesline. Going for a cover. One. Two. Oh, barely a two count as Tatanka breaks up the pin again. Oh, look at that big DET there. Morton going up top. 
if you're thinking diving cross body as Tatanka's on the floor. Oh, and you get some cover. One, two, three, and the Rock and Roll Express are tag team champions. Second. Oh no! Rock and Roll Express stomping away at their opponents. More importantly, just working over Bam Bam. He gets dumped out of the ring. The new tag team champions showcasing that mean streak of theirs again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about an hour into this broadcast. Got three more matches left. A tag team title match up for WCW as the Colognes are going to challenge the Outsiders. The winner will become the new WCW Tag Team Champions. Colognes made their debut on WCW Nitro this past Friday and were blindsided by the Outsiders prior to their match. They still managed to get the victory. It was an uphill battle for them. Here comes the Colognes. Primo and Epico. Cousins. Fans are not exactly the biggest fans of these guys. Not that they really care. See how well the Colognes face or stand against the Outsiders. Here they come. Two of the founders of the New World Order, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Top of their game. Kevin Nash stepping over to the top rope, followed by Scott Hall. One of these teams come away with the gold. There's a look at the WCW tag team titles. There's going to be Scott Hall starting off against Epico. Oh, went for a clothesline. Epico with a counter. Go for a backbreaker or a sidewalk slam. Scott Hall got a counter that time. A jawbreaker. Oh, 
Oh, big clothesline there from Scott Hall. Oh, and another clothesline. I think we're getting worked over. Scott Hall looks like he's just having fun right now. Oh, high angle tip toss there. Up into the corner. Uh oh. Scott going for a choke slam. Oh, countered. Countered to a modified flatliner there. Primo tagging in, as does Kevin Nash. Oh. Kevin Nash starts things off with a big right hand. Just palming Primo around the ring. Oh, now throw him over the top rope to the floor. In old WCW, that would have been disqualification, but in my WCW, not so much. <laughs> Epico getting dragged into it. Primo coming to his cousin's aid. Uh oh. Oh no. Quick reflexes by, by Kevin Nash. Something we don't say very often. But it can't happen. Uh oh. Double team here by the Outsiders. I mean, Primo off the ropes and a double back body drop. Scott Hall back in. Got another choke slam attempt. Oh, this time he lands it. Cover. One. Two. Two and a half. Scott Hall probably could have had that one, but instead is going after Epico again. I think right now he's just playing with them. Primo though. Oh! Drop down with the DT. Pop back up though, even though he's been, even though he's bleeding. Primo is firing up now. He's gonna kinda have to. Cause he's all on his own. Cousin is on the ground. Pinball attempt. Easy kick out for Scott Hall, though. Ooh, front flip, neck lift. Oh! Big right hand for Scott Hall. Over to the outsider's edge. Oh! Just dropping him. We can have a look at this. There's a boy up there and just drops him down. Goes for the cover. This should be it. One. Epico makes the save. Oh! Slammed down by Primo though. Scott Hall makes the tag to Kevin Nash. Primo is still out. <laughs> oh, Nash whips him off the corner turnbuckle. It is back and forth at the moment. Oh, well it was. It was back and forth until he ran into the big boot of Kevin Nash. And now he's about to eat a jackknife powerbomb for his trouble. Oh! Scott Hall watching his big buddy gets the cover and the outsiders get the win. Oh, well, that was nothing short of a massacre. They're not finished though. Oh! Epico getting kicked out of the ring and Primo is still bleeding. 
and gets getting worked over by the outsiders. Treating them like garbage at this point. Well, the outsiders never claim to be the good guys. And in this match they definitely showcase that they have no problem being bad. But they are the new tag team champions here in WCW. Two more matches and it's our main, it's our kind of dual main event, double main event, if you will. And crown a WWE champion for the main event brand. Got Jake Roberts taking on the Ultimate Warrior. Jake Roberts got the better of the Ultimate Warrior with the DDT. See if that same maneuver can serve him well in this matchup. Comes Jake the Snake Roberts. Ominous bag, which typically carries Damien or one of his other snakes in it. See exactly what the snake has up his sleeve today. Fans here are showing him no love. A lot of this rivalry came about because Jake Roberts betrayed Desmond Warrior years ago. Here comes the Ultimate Warrior. Traditional full sprint. Robert's watching intently. Hasn't tried to attack Warrior yet. And there's the championship. That classic belt, World Heavyweight Championship. Snake goes after him, try to get an early, early advantage. Oh look, there's a DET. We're out the gate. Warrior no selling it though. Popping right back up with a side rush and leg sweep. Showing Roberts that he's not gonna play that game. Nice backbreaker though. Robert's beating the warrior to the punch for the moment. Nice take down there. Ooh, stomp to the face. And right now, Jake Roberts seems to be in control of the warrior. Are starting to fight back. Oh, right in shoulder tackle. Oh, went for a look like a belly to back suplex. Got caught. Oh, Jake Roberts gets caught with the boots. There's a backbreaker from the Warrior. Kind of posing a bit there. Oh no, caught with the right knee strike. Oh, it's breaking at the back. Oh, 
Uh oh. Warrior has him up. He's going for that military press. Oh, and gets dropped on his head. The version of the DET by Jake Roberts. Oh, and there's that right knee. Jake Roberts is in rare form tonight. Looking to take out the Warrior. One, two, no. Two and a half. So more than one DET. Not the full on DET, but a version of it. Roberts looking for the full DET this time. Oh no. Not able to get it. Oh. Gets him with a big corner lariat. Kick to the face. I'm hanging the warrior up on the top rope. I'm just twisting at the head and neck of the warrior. Oh, right knee to the back. We're starting to feel it. Powered by Roberts. Another belly to back suplex. Oh, misses the elbow drop. But nails the warrior with the clothesline. Oh, right at the back. Oh, there's the oh, short arm clothesline. Going for the pin. Kick out. Before even a one, partially due to the referee taking his time getting into position. Back elbow by the warrior though. Oh, one for a clothesline got tripped. Now using the middle rope to choke the warrior. Rolls out onto the floor. Oh, bulldog on the outside. Knee lift. Warrior starting to fight back though. Ooh. Using the ring barricade to his advantage. Or you're starting to get and feel it. Oh no, gets caught with a knee lift. Break at the back again. Oh! Wait a second. Warrior. Splash! Pinfall attempt. One, two, kick out. Warrior. Oh, eyes gets raked. There's that short arm clothesline yet again. One, kick out before two. section and drop down. Back and forth. Oh, and clothesline over the top rope to the floor. Jake Roberts wants to walk out of Super Brawl as the champion. If he can knock off the warrior, he'll get his wish. Rolls. We're into the ring. Wait a second. Warrior wise enough to step out of the way. Oh. 
A free count to four. Yeah, Garber's in trouble. Five. He's stuck against that post, or against the guardrail. Six. Oh! Close line. Warrior. Oh, it's a splash. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Referee counted at three, but it looks like Jake Grubbers may have kicked out. Let's see if we can get a replay on that. No, no replay. Well, nevertheless, Warrior is your champion. But Jake Roberts not happy. He's claiming that he kicked out. Arguing with it. Or you're saying, come on, if you want some more. You can bet this is not over between these two guys. Alrighty. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for our main event of the evening between Sting and Ric Flair for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. We saw Sting beat Ric Flair in a non-title match this past Friday on Nitro. Will we see a repeat of that? Only one way to find out. It's time for the match. Ric Flair has to defend that title in a singles, comp comp yeah, singles contest. Same rules apply as Friday. Standard match applies. And here comes the stinger. Would love to bring the gold back home. He's got to beat one of his greatest rivals of all time in order to do it. The fans, of course, love seeing, and right now they're booing the nature boy, Ric Flair. Flair styling and profile looking only as he can. As he walks that aisle to defend that championship of his. Things hoping to get that Scorpion Deathlock on the Nature Boy, make him submit. He was successful this past Friday. Will he be able to do it again? Nature Boy is a very prolific world champion. Can he keep the, his hold on his gold? You know, he's been able to do it many times in the past. Will tonight be any different? I 
I'll hand over the title to the referee as he prepares to display it. Match is underway. They lock up. Right with a quick side headlock. Switching to a top rope lock. And tripping Sting to the canvas. Fans solidly behind the Stinger. Slipped over into the corner. Oh, a big clothesline taking down the Nature Boy. And Flair already getting out of the ring. Arm rack takeover though. Looks like a bear hug. Sting fighting out of it though. Oh, and bulldog attempt. Not the cleanest bulldog, but Flair connects. Now going for a rear chin lock, it looks like. Oh, pile driver! Dropping Sting on his head. Flair already going after the head and neck of the Stinger. Patented Ric Flair knee drop going for a pin. Kick out. Flair could be setting up for an early victory. Oh, look at this. Roll up attempt by the Stinger. What? Oh, not even a one count. Flair too wise to it. Oh no, it gets caught up. Back five drop onto Flair. Sting throws the world champion out of the ring onto the floor. Uh-oh. Sting has a scorpion death block on the floor. Flair's in trouble. I mean, he can't win outside on the floor. He has to win inside the ring. Oh! That'd be bounced off the guardrail. Oh! Flair being driven into the guardrail. We're at free count to seven. Need to get back into the ring. Finally does. We have paid to see this main event end in a count out. A pair of very atomic drops. This thing firing up though. Oh, turns his bike on Flair. Flair caught him. Oh! And launched him. Oof. Like knife is chopped by the nature boy. Oh, now going after the limbs, going after the arms. Soon he's gonna go after the legs. Oh! Clothesline, but not very effective one. Flip into the corner. Sting charging in. Oh no! Took a little too much time as Flair was able to get the counter. Now going for the figure four leg lock. Oh, and Stinger's in trouble. Stinger's in figure four leg lock. But being wise to the hold knows how to roll out of it, reversing the pressure. Forcing Flair to break the hold. Sting trying to find his way back into this. Oh, big right hand. And a neck breaker. Oh, 
Oh, going after the leg gets kicked in the, in the knee for it. The sting is why he blocks Ric Flair. Oh. And flare away. Now going for the singer splash again, missing. Flare with it. Oh, pile driver. Dumping sting on his head. Oh no, look at a flare working over the arm of Sting. Number three, being very lenient. Oh, look at that one arm slam. Using the other arm. One, two. Flair has to kick out. Flair being looked across the ring. Sting charging him for the stinger splash. Hits it. Sting's looking pretty gassed though. Gets back up. Sting takes him down, going for the sing during the Scorpion Deathlock. He's got Flair in the middle of the ring. We see another tap out. Yes, Flair taps out. Sting's the new champion. Sting has won the World Heavyweight Championship here at Super Brawl. These two guys, they fought all over the place. Inside the ring, outside the ring. Figure four leg locks. Scorpion death locks. There's a stinger splash, which took multiple attempts to hit. And took everything out of Sting to land it. Congratulations to Sting on becoming the new World Heavyweight Champion here in WCW. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Super Brawl. Thank you so much for joining us here. Whether you watch this live on Twitch or you're joining us on the YouTube on the YouTube version, I appreciate you. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, the King Book series. I'm enjoying making it. Uh, I do a lot of my tapings in bulk and then upload them as a schedule. Uh, so if it seems like you see a lot of me in the same setting, that's why. But that's just because that's the way it works best for me and with my schedule in real life. So thank you again so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, be cool and have fun, everybody.